So let's get into another Viva practice case. Today we're going to be using this chest radiograph as our example image. So go ahead, have a look at the x-ray, list the features that you see, come up with a nice summary that leads you towards a diagnosis or at least a list of differential diagnoses. And then I'm going to share with you how I would approach this case in an exam setting. So go ahead, pause the video, come up with your summary and join me for my approach. So I'd start by saying this is a frontal chest radiograph of a skeletally mature male who presents with hemoptysis and a cough uh, on the background of a significant smoking history. The most obvious feature here is this veiling of the left hemithorax with the pulmonary vessels still visible through the opacity. There are features of left-sided volume loss with tracheal deviation to the left. There's a raised left hemidiaphragm with a juxtaphrenic peak sign. There's also some rib crowding on the left-hand side, as well as slight mediastinal shift to the left. There's a Luftsichel sign with this accentuation of the lateral border of the aortic arch by this lucency here, as well as silhouetting of the superior aspect of the left heart border by the opacity itself. Now these features are in keeping with the left upper lobe collapse and given the patient's history and their clinical presentation, the likely cause of this is an obstructing mass or malignancy in the lung. Now this mass is not clearly visible on this projection and I can't see any overt features of metastatic disease. So this patient is going to need a urgent staging CT as well as potential bronchoscopic biopsy for tissue diagnosis. So I would relay these findings with the requesting clinician and suggest further imaging. And that's, that's all I would leave my summary there. I don't know if there's anything more that you will add. Now I've, I've chosen this case because for me it's a very important one to know and I think examiners can kind of use it as a yardstick, a kind of pass fail for their candidates. And the reasons for that is twofold in, in my opinion. One, low bar collapse is really common and it's something that if you don't recognize it straight away, then what else are you missing? Have you really spent enough time looking at chest radiographs? And two, the diagnosis that we're alluding to here is a sinister diagnosis that we actually can't miss as radiologists. And that may sound bad, like your examiner is going to use this as a pass fail. But for me, that's great news because once I've seen this x-ray with relatively easy features to pick up, if this comes across to me in an exam, it's one that you're just going to hit a home run. You can hit it out the park because you know the features, you know what this represents. And uh, it's something that if you see it, you can almost take a sigh of relief because you're not going to have to, it's not the type of case where you're going to have to look at the features and be prompted by the examiner. It's one where you can sit back and just reel off your findings like I have done now. And your examiner can say, you know what, this candidate is safe with this, with this radiograph. They've seen this before and they know what uh, the underlying pathology is. I must warn you though that this you're going to present this quite quickly and there might be a lot of time left for the examiner to have follow-up questions. So knowing staging of lung cancer, the latest guidelines, is going to be very important and I wouldn't be surprised if the examiner pulled up the CTs and asked you to stage the cancer itself. So that's obviously going to come up in a future video. We will we'll be going over that. Uh, one thing before you go, I would love to know, do you like me doing these one cases at a time or would you like me to do multiple cases within a single video that comes to kind of half an hour to 40 minutes? Let me know what you prefer in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I hope you're getting some value from them and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.